In this video, we are gonna talk about some unexpected big money plush. And when I say big money, get ready to have your socks knocked off. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are going to talk about Mercari and plush. And I'm sure that you guys walk past these items because I know I do. Um, some of these I have never seen before. Some of them I've talked about in other videos, but not the exact same ones. So I think you're definitely going to learn from this. So let's get started here with the first highest selling plush on Mercari. All right. So this guy right here is Jazzmanian Squish Mallow. All right. Now, Squish Mallows range from bread and butter too big money. They are all over the place. This one right here is a 25th anniversary. It says extremely rare special edition eight inch lion squish mallow. It's only eight inches. It says arguably the rarest squish mallow as it was only given to jazz wares employees and toy industry associates on the 25th an anniversary last year of 2022. This sold for $2,000 dollars. So I don't know if this person was the actual employee or if they found it and just did their research. But if you ever see this Squishmallow, pick it up. $2,000. This one is not as rare. I think there were 500 made. Yes. Okay. So it's pretty rare. 500 of them. It's a 16 inch Jack the Black Cat. And you can see it's got the little tag in its ear. So look for this tag. If you see it, oh my goodness, $1,500 this guy sold for. So let's look at this. This is one I've never seen. I probably would walk maybe past it. It doesn't seem very special, but it's special. Bijou Kitty. Bijou Kitty. B-I-J-O-U-K-I-T-T-Y, in case you're listening and not watching. It says Mystic XXL Cake Pop Teddy Plush. This sold for $1,494. That's what it looks like, this guy right here. Apparently, these are collectible. Whoa. Okay, here we go. So let's take a peek at some of the other ones that go for a lot of money. This one went for 870. This one went for 711, 650. So I couldn't even find anything currently on eBay for sale or sold that were big money like these. $500. So this is definitely something to be on the lookout for. And this is why WorthPoint comes in handy. I do have some videos that show you guys how to use WorthPoint. And um, I mean, you just type it into the search bar. It's pretty easy to use. But why I feel like it's worth it, if you type in Bolo Buddies Worth Point, you can pull up those videos. And here are just some of this brand, Bijou Kitty. Bijou Kitty. There you have it. Interesting. I mean, some of them only go for the $200 range. Okay, so look here. This one is kind of the rainbow bunny plushie. That one went for $198. So we're going to stop there. There's only on worth point, let's see, 48 results. So these are definitely a hard to find item. This is reserved for Foxy. Build-A-Bear Jumbo 36 inch Rudolph. This is a store display. That's why it went for so much. So if you see something that is extra, extra big and you can see display only, not a toy, Oh, it's got a little sound box. This sold for $1,400 on Mercari. Webkin's Chocolate Milk Cow, new with tags and unused code, super rare, and Flutter Pig. Flutter Pig. Is there two here? Why does it say Flutter Pig? Flutter Pig. Did they throw one in? Now I'm really confused. I see just the cow. Let's read. Brand new with tagging code has some stray threads. Those brown marks are threads. Factory error will probably come out with tweezers, but I don't want to mess with it. And a B on the inner part of the tush tag. No other flaws I can see. Please inspect photos carefully in case I have missed something. Super hard to find plush 
due to the high value of the item, I will be recording the packaging. So that's the second person who said they are going to record the packaging. This sold for $1,400. I don't know what and flutter pig means, but to me, let's see, chocolate milk cow. Is that writing right there? What's that right there? And then where's the threads? This must be the thread. I don't know. So anyway, either way, this cow went for $1,400. So the reason they're saying is it's new and unused is because it has the original tag and it is still sealed. You know they're sealed because this little piece right here seals it. So I would probably have called this pre-owned for sure, especially since it has writing on the tag. Either way, big money bolo. Uh, you guys, if you are not selling on Macari, I highly recommend that you get your plush over there. Plush seems to do really, really good on Mercari. A lot of times it sells for more on Mercari than it does eBay. I do have a referral link down below. If you use that, you're going to get $10 to shop. And then once you sell $100 worth of stuff, they're going to give you an additional $20 to shop. So that is $30 to shop. And then they also give me money to shop also. So I appreciate it when you guys use my link. This is a life-size 71-inch 71 71-inch furret plush. So I guess it's Pokemon shipped in the original box. It sold for $1,250. This is a Mario BDNA wing cap Mario 18-inch, extremely rare. Um, the pictures are not great. So you don't even really know what you're getting here, honestly, in my opinion. Um, this maybe is helpful. It's showing you here in the book, which it is, which toy it is. It looks like it retailed for $45 available for dash 25. I don't know what that means, but anyway, this guy sold for $1,199, a plush that was only available in the Nintendo power supplies catalog in 1998. Don't miss your chance to buy this. So it's just a really rare uh, Mario. This is a Jag Giants, Giants? Large Lane Husky plush. So I have talked to you about the brand Jag before. I've also talked to you about realistic looking plush. I recommend that you put realistic in your title. I think that people do search that, especially when they're looking for animals that look like their own animals. This one sold for $1,000. $150. And it looks like they posted it on February 21st of 23 and it sold on February 27th of 23. So it was listed six days. Here's another Squishmallow. This is the Zachary the Zombie 12 inch. And I did see other Zachary the Zombies that were selling high. So this was not um, a fluky thing. This one sold for $1,101. And let's see, they listed at 7, 6 of 22 and it sold on 2, 4 of 23. So that one did take a little longer to sell. Here is a Swibco Sherbert Bear Plush <laughs> and it sold for $1,020. There's your tag. These are hard to find and collectible. So it says this is a very hard to find plush. This color was or I'm sorry, this colorway has never popped up on Mercari or eBay before. So S-W-I-B-C-O, S-W-I, S-W-I-B-C-O plush. Let's look on, um, oh my goodness, here we go, guys. So we are on uh, Worth Point. Look at this one, $3,950. But you can see right here, the same one. So it must have, let's see, October 3rd, they must not have got payment, resold it again on October 14th for 2000 so way less money. But here's another one. Either way, this, this item right here looks like it's about $1,000 plush. Now this one sold for $550. Not sure if they are the, let's see, this one says 16 inch, so I don't know if they're all the same size or not, but this was in April of 23. 
$350. I think this one looks smaller. $199. So S-W-I-B-C-O. Look for it if you see it. This may have just been somebody who had no idea and priced it too low. Puffkins. Um, I've got a couple puffkins upstairs that I need to list that are small like this, but it looks like they got all 35 for $100. So mine probably are not bolos. But definitely be on the lookout for Swibco, I think is how you say it. Could be totally wrong. But pretty cool little bolo right there. All right, we did that. We did that. Okay, here we go. Disney Store Lion King Mufasa Plush. And this guy is huge. He sold for $975 and he has a stain on him. And he is from the Disney store. I think he's one of the big guys. And I remember this, uh, somebody talking about, I don't know if it was this one in particular, but it was something from Lion King. And it was a big plush that went for big money. So definitely, if you see anything that's Lion King, that's big like this, jumbo, definitely look it up. Here is the jelly cat, Fergus the Frog. We have talked about this in other videos. Uh, Cajun resellers sold one of these for big money. Um, I don't think this one, or wait, this one is his. This one is his. I think that's, yeah, this one is his. And he sold it for $950 on Mercari. So one of the highest selling Fergus the Frogs um, on Mercari right here. Check it out. And check out the Cajun reseller on YouTube. He is a bolo finder and he sells a lot of plush. This is an FAO Schwartz Wolf and realistic looking. Another good word to put in the title, as I stated. New with tags, discontinued item from the website, Smoke Free Home. $950 on that one. This is a rare jumbo an angel Hello Kitty plush, Sanrio Smiles. And I'm just going to show you here. It's got on this cute little outfit. And there's the tag. This one sold for $950. It's sought out for rare Blue Angel Hello Kitty plush. She's about three foot long with no sign of tears or stains. Literally in perfect condition. So being that it's white. And to say it's in perfect condition. Oh my goodness. I'd be scared to say that. But it must be really, really good for $950. Here's another Jag Giants Black Wolf Plush Giant Jumbo. Huge, large plush. Uh, realistic would be another great word. Probably better pictures would have been better. <laughs> uh, up for grabs is a Jag Giants Black Wolf Plush. Never played with. Just kept on display in my bedroom. If you have any questions, please feel free to message. So... You can see it looks like it's just laying around with the other plush, which is kind of funny. So it went for $900. It didn't matter. Didn't matter what was sitting behind it. Ultra rare Jag Giants Gray Wolf. So Giants must be on the tag somewhere because all of these say Jag Giants. So here is another big guy going for big money. $875 for this one. And... Let's see. Fit uh, First time opening him. Never opened until tonight. Brand new. Ultra, ultra rare. No longer in production. 875. Here is a Squishmallows Hands the Hedgehog golden 24 inch stuffed plush. And he looks like that. Uh, 100 millionth. wonder what that means. There were only 30 of these made. Super rare collector's item. Huh. Only 30 made. Wonder how they know that. So if you find this hedgehog, which I don't even think it looks like a hedgehog, uh, definitely pick it up because there were only 30 made. 30 made, it says. And select series, 100 millionth a, huh. So it's a special edition. This is another, um, nope, this one's different. This one is, oh, rare Ryla Kuma pink sherbet large plush. Huh. Another brand I haven't heard of. Uh, let's copy this and put it over on 
worth point. I'm just kind of curious. Some of these that I've never heard of, I I just want to know. I just want to know, like, what's going on here? Like, why are these worth so much money? Uh, high to low. Here we go. 1500 This one is a sleeping bag plush doll. 999 Huh. So that's a hoodie. This is some sort of wall thing. So I guess if you see that brand, look it up. This one went for 700 And again, I can't verify if these were paid for. This is just worth point. 474 That one is the same. So what did it go for on Mercari? It went for 810 So it went for 810 on Mercari and 474 on, I think this is eBay, and 450 on eBay. So again, something that is selling for more on Mercari than it is eBay. Definitely, definitely consider Mercari for your plush. And use that link down below, that referral link, and get that free money. Free money to shop, to buy things, to resell, right? And the last one here is this Sugar Bunnies Han Asua and Mama Sua. What? Okay, this is what it looks like. Look how cute they are. So it's a two for one. You get two for one. Two for one price. The the one price of $805. Uh, sugar bunnies. Sugar bunnies. Hannah Sua. Let's see. Let's look up sugar bunnies. Sugar bunnies. Here we go. All right. They're by Sanrio, it looks like. And $1,000. This guy sold for $899. Uh, 701, 650, 500, 500. So they do have a distinct look to them. I think if you see it, you're going to know it now. So definitely be on the lookout. All right, you guys. So what do you think? Pretty shocking, right? I just pulled this out of my uh, jewelry that I have list or that I have in a pile to list on whatnot. I'm like, oh my goodness, that really matches my hat. I might be keeping this. Um, anyway, if you're not following me on whatnot, come on over. There's a referral link down below. You can get $15 to shop and you don't have to spend that with me, but I would love it if you did. Um, I'm selling a lot of jewelry, doing some other things as well, but jewelry is kind of my main focus right now, having a lot of fun with it. I'd love for you guys to come ha hang out, even if you don't buy anything. So what did you think about these plush? Let me know down in the comments. Have you sold any of these before? Any of these awesome plush? Have you sold any? Um, I know Cajun Reseller has. He found Fergus the Frog. I want to find Fergus the Frog. Who else has found Fergus the Frog? That's probably the one, the Jelly Cat, is probably the one that you're most likely to find. But I would love, to, or maybe one of the big Jag plush. You could probably find one of those. But some of these, I think are going to be really hard to find. But going back to Mercari being a great place to sell plush, 100%. If you're not selling plush on Mercari, definitely consider it. Um, I use this perfectly. I start my items on eBay and then I cross post to Poshmark and Mercari. You can also sell plush on Poshmark. Now, I do have a demo video that shows you how to use List Perfectly. I'll link it down below. You guys can check it out. If you're interested in cross-posting and getting items on other platforms, you can use my referral link, Bolo Buddies, all one word, and that will get you 30% off your first month of List Perfectly. And watch the demo video first. See if it's something for you. See if it's a good fit. Um, cross-posting is not for everyone, but I will tell you there are buyers on other platforms that are not on eBay if you're only selling on eBay. And if you're on Mercari and you're not on eBay and you're not on Poshmark, you can also start on Mercari and cross post your items to 12 other platforms. So um, get your items on different platforms. It's a win-win. It is. It really is. You'll sell more. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And thanks for watching.